an interesting match was presented between Szabo and Mikhail Tal in 1957. In this match, Szabo holds white while Mikhail Tal holds black. The match begins with the Sicilian defense opening. White pawn e4, black pawn c5. Knight f3, pawn d6. Bishop b5, check. Black bishop d7, closes in, check, and invites bishop exchange. White accepts the change of bishops. In return, black captures the bishop. White is doing a short castling. Black knight c6. Pawn c3. Knight f6 threatens the pawn. Rook e1 protects the pawn. The black pawn e6. Pawn d4 invites pawn exchange. And the exchange is accepted. Pawn captures pawn. Pawn captures pawn, black pawn advances to d5, invites a pawn exchange once again. This time, the exchange is not accepted. The white pawn advances to e5, threatening the knight. The knight avoids the threat by jumping to e4. White knight c3 invites the knight exchange. Knight captures knight. Pawn captures knight. Bishop e7 knight g5 performs a fork attack pawn h6 tries to repel the knight however this explosion's effort wasn't heeded white instead advanced his queen to h5 the idea is that if a pawn captures a knight then the queen will capture the rook this will lead to superior quality and position of the white but black doesn't capture the knights with the pawn. Instead, the knight is captured by the bishop and at the same time beating the bishops. Bishop captures bishop. Black knight moves to e7. Bishop retreats to d2. Black makes a bold move by doing short castling. Pawn a4. Black pawn f5 preparing to take control of the f4 square to block the white bishop's attack. The white pawn proceeds to control of the f4 square while blocking the advance of the black pawn. Black rook c8. Rook b1, rook c4 threaten the pawn twice. Queen retreats to d1 strengthens the guard of the pawn. Black rook c8 makes an inline attack with the other rook. Pawn advances to a5, knight c6. Queen b3 attacks the pawn, rook c7, strengthening the guard of the pawn. Rook b2, king h7. Pawn h3, pawn a6. Queen b6, knight back to e7. Note that so far, black has always been in the defensive position, no threat from black to the white king. On the contrary, every move from white is always a threat for black, either directly or indirectly. Queen d6 invites queen exchange, but the request is denied, and the black queen withdrew to e8, while leaving the e6 pawn to be captured by the white queen. However, white does not move the queen to capture the pawn. White instead advances the rook to b6. Black responds with rook moves to c6, threatening the queen and at the same time beating the rook. The rook captures the rook and the queen captures the rook and at the same time beats the queen. Rook b1 Rook d7 threatens the queen. Queen retreats to b4, knight c8. Pawn g4 threatening the pawn. Black pawn g6 strengthens the pawn.
queen f8 threatens the pawn with the bishop's support Rook g7 blocks the queen's attack the king advances to f2 black queen c4 prepares to go to d3 square and threatens the bishop the rook advances to b2 guarding the bishop the black knight c7 however after the black knight's move the rook left the bishop's escort the rook continues the attack by advancing to b6 threatening the black pawn the black knight blocks the attack by jumping to c6 king e1 queen d3 pawn g5 pits pawns pawn captures pawn pawn captures pawn in return knight captures the pawn rook captures pawn black knight jumps to c4 supports queen's attack to check while capturing the bishop after so many defensive movements the stance turn around black is now making attack moves using queen and knight this is proved by the white defensive move by moving the bishop to c1 black didn't squander the opportunity now carrying out a barrage of check attacks that resulted in the king surrender within 10 moves starting with the queen capturing the c3 pawn check the king avoids check to d1 queen check again at d4 king evades to e2 queen e4 check the king returns to d1 queen f3 check king e2 queen e2 check king c3 pawn d4 check king b4 pawn a5 check king c5 rook c7 check king b5 knight captures a pawn at e5 as well as discovers attack by the queen check king advances to b6 rook c6 check and in this position white declares to resign white resign because there is no hope for white to save the king let alone make a counter attack if it is continued then the next step will be like this the rook captures the rook queen a6 check king c7 queen check and captures the rook in c6 the king dodges to b8 knight d7 attacks the king and the queen the king doesn't have a choice but move to a8 or a7 and the black queen a6 checkmate or if the king evades to d8 then the queen d7 checkmate the black counterattack that takes repeatedly up to 10 times without stopping causes white who from the start of the match attack aggressively become helpless what an amazing match